Hello everyone, welcome to Tector.com. So now we understand that what is the transaction, okay? What is transaction? A transaction is a single unit of database processing, okay? For example, updation, deletion. We have also seen an example in last lecture, right? So that was a very abstract example. We will have many such examples in the upcoming lectures. So in this lecture, we will understand what are the basic property, which is essential properties which we should say what are the essential properties of a database transaction okay so we call it acid property okay so what is acid property we have acid okay so it's a c i and d here a stands for atomicity, C stands for consistency, I stands for isolation and D stands for durability. Now let's understand each property one by one. So let's start with atomicity. This property says that either all operation of a transaction should occur or none of the operations should occur okay so as the name suggests atomicity means the transactions are atomic being atomic means either it will be there or it will not be there there is nothing like half of the transaction right as we know transactions consist of multiple operations right so it there should not be a case where half of the operations of a transaction is performed and half of them are rejected. For example, we just in the last lecture we have studied to increase the salary first we need to read salary so let's say s then we update salary s equal to s plus 0.1 s and then write s right. So this transaction okay which is there to increase the salary by 10% we have three operations right so these three operations either all three operations should be completed all of three or else none of the operation will will be performed so there should not be a case when after this operation transaction aborts and this is not performed at all okay so this cannot be and this is not at all acceptable okay this is a basic property that the transaction should be atomic this property, this atomicity is maintained by transaction management component of the DBMS. Okay, so for each property, we have someone responsible, we should have someone responsible who will be maintaining or will be ensuring this property, right? So for this atomicity, we have transaction management component. Okay, next property is consistency. So consistency refers to correctness. Okay, so any transaction should lead to database system from one correct state to or one consistent state to another consistent state. A simple example of consistency can be a value of A is stored and in the same database a value which is derived from A is stored. Okay, so let's say this is age, uh, this is date of birth. Okay, and in the same database we have age. Okay, age of the user. Fine, so this age is basically derived from this date of birth right so now when we update this or a transaction performs some operation over this date of birth or this value of a okay it has to take care of this age okay so after this transaction there should not be a conflict between these two or in simple word let's say i'm storing a at two places okay a1 and a2 let's say so transaction has to take care that these two has to be same okay so after uh, the after the transaction is performed it has to be made sure that value at both the places has been modified another example can be that let's say we have two accounts a and b we have a balance of 1000 rupees here and 2000 rupees here okay now some transaction this one a and this one let's say a2 Okay, so two different accounts, we have balance 1000 and 2000. So total balance is 3000. Now if some transaction is made over it, okay, so let's say I'm transferring some account from here to here 50. 
okay so this transaction has to be performed in in a correct manner so that after the completion of the transaction after completion of the transaction final amount should be consistent that is here it has to be 950 and here it has to be 2050 okay so the addition of both the balances has to be consistent consistent right so this consistency you can remember or you should know that in modern databases this consistency has been compromised okay so if you use facebook you can see that at some places number of likes for your page is different where at some places it it is showing different i'll show you quickly show you a, an example here so let's say so this is uh, my youtube channel where you watch these videos and we have here right now here it is showing uh, let's say i'll refresh the page so so you can see that i have 9202 subscriber on this channel right now let's go to this subscriber page so once i click and i go to subscriber page you can see that here the subscribers are shown as 9204 right so earlier it was on the previous page it is 9200 uh, no it's old value it is 9202 right but at this page it it is 9204 right so you can see a clear cut example of consistency right so in modern des databases the consistency is compromised just to serve you the data as fast as possible okay so this part has been compromised so that the database or this uh, performance of the system is very fast but in our course what we have study we have to study we have to consider that it has to be consistent okay the value has to be consistent okay and each transaction should produce a consistent state so ensuring consistency is responsibility of application programmer okay the one who is programming or creating application over database management system he has to ensure the consistency of the system next is isolation property so isolation property ensures that concurrent execution let's say we have transaction t1 and t2 executing okay so it has multiple operations and it is executing right so it ensures that the concurrent execution of transaction t1 and t2 t2 results in a system state that would be obtained if transaction would be executed serially okay so what i mean to say is here the transactions are executing concurrently right few operations here then this operation then this then this again right so it is executing concurrently in interleaved manner of course now this execution should result same as if this transaction t1 would have executed completely first and then this t2 right so this result should not be affected if we are executing multiple transactions together okay so this is the purpose of this property isolation right now this isolation is managed by concurrency control manager okay so it is insured by so this is insured by concurrency control manager okay and we will study this whole thing in uh, separate lectures so that is concurrency control where we will understand how the schedules can be serializable or not all these things so we will study all these things okay and what can be a equivalent serial schedule for us given schedule and all okay so all these things we will study so this is the purpose of basically isolation property so now we understand what is isolation okay the next property is durability this property says that changes should be permanent okay so whatever changes had been made by a transaction after completion these changes should be permanent okay these changes should not be lost due to some database failure okay so it means that all the changes or the effects of transaction should be durable okay if a transaction is aborted in between okay then we have to roll back and this is the property of recovery manager okay so now we understand the 
acid property of transaction right so the first one a stands for atomicity okay so which says that transaction should be atomic okay it means that it has to be completed either completed or it should not occur at all okay it means if a transaction has multiple operations all the operations will be performed or none none of the operation will be performed so if a transaction fails due to some reason here okay the transaction has to roll back okay it has to roll back to maintain the consistency and this component is taken care by transaction management component okay now next one is consistency it says that the transaction or any transaction has to lead a database system to one consistent state to another consistent state okay so the correctness has to be taken care and this is basically the responsibility of application programmer okay who is programming who is working on this particular database system okay he has to ensure that this is the system is consistent next property i stands for isolation okay so it means that each transaction should Re, uh, should act like it is being performed isolatedly okay it means that each transaction it should be isolated to each other so even if they are performing concurrently the ultimate outcome should be similar to or exactly same as if it is being performed sequentially okay and this is managed by concurrency control manager it is the responsibility of isolation is responsibility of concurrency control manager in acid d stands for durability durability means the transaction should be durable that is the changes should be permanent okay and the changes must not be lost due to some database failure okay so it has to be committed it has to be stored fine and it is responsibility of recovery manager fine so this is all about acid property in next lecture we will study what are the various states of transaction when it is executing so the time when transaction starts and the time till it runs and committed so in between there are various states we will study that states in next lecture so see you in the next lecture thanks for watching